So in the last episode, we were able to create our layout right here. And the next thing that we will do is to list uh, our blog post right here. But for us to list the blog post, we need to actually like uh, have the blog post existing somewhere. And for that, we'll be making use of Contentful to model our data, add the blog post, and then we can be able to access those blog posts from our next JS application. So Contentful is a headdress CMS. And what we mean by that is that it provides us with a way of modeling the data and adding the data on the back end. And then we can make use of any uh, front end framework that you can think of, uh, like Next.js, Vue.js, and so on. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to sign up for an account. So I'll go ahead and uh, sign up for a new account. I'll make use of uh, Google right here because I already have an account with GitHub. So I'll sign up with Google. So once you select the Gmail account that uh, you'll be using, then you can go ahead and fill the remaining details. So for the company, uh, I'll call my company CC for Chow Charles. And then uh, I'll go ahead and select the job title here. I'll say other. And then right here, I'll select a developer and then click sign up. So now it has created uh, my Contentful uh, account here. And uh, one last thing, uh, before starting, help us tailor Contentful for you. So you can uh, go ahead and select uh, whichever field that you want. I'll select blog. And then what is the one reason you signed up to this one? I'll select this one. I decided to use Contentful for a new project. Uh, how familiar are you with uh, headdress CMS? I'll say moderatory. Uh, how familiar are you with uh, structured content? I'll say moderatory. And then I'll just click on start with Contentful. So here we go. And uh, we have like created a Contentful account. Uh, CC is the name of the company here. And then blank. I think that is uh, the name of the space. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. So there are these steps uh, which you can like take, uh, this is like a guide, but what I want to do is to just dive into content model, okay? So in content model, if you have worked with something like uh, MongoDB and Node.js, uh, we usually like create models for our content, and that means that we are just like structuring the data, how it will look, and so on. So we are not like actually adding the data, we are just structuring the data, okay? And uh, right here, uh, first design the content model, I'll design the content model and then create uh, the first type of content. I'll create a uh, content type. So the name of the content type, I'll call it blog. And then API identifier, uh, let it be blog description. I think that can be optional. So I'll go ahead and create. And then define the structure of the content type. So I'll add a field. So we need to add different fields for our content. And uh, what I'll start with here is uh, maybe the title. So I'll click on text and then I'll go ahead and give it a name. I'll call it title. Let it be a short text. I'll click on create. And right here you can be able to like uh, select settings and then go to validation. Make it required. Make it unique. And uh, at settings here. We need to make this uh, to represent the entry title. So I'll click on entry title and then appearance. Let it be a single line. So I'll go ahead and confirm. So let's add others. OK, I'll add a thumbnail. And for the thumbnail, it will be a media. So I'll click on media. It will be one file. And let's give it a name, thumbnail. And I'll go ahead and when I click on create and configure, I think it will give us the settings that we needed. So I'll click on create and configure and then go to validation. Um, thumbnail can be optional, so I'll not make it required. And then accept only a specified file size. You can select that. Accept only a specified file type. I need to select this and make sure that that file type is an image. So we don't want video or audio as a thumbnail. Okay. So the next thing I can click on appearance. And uh, yeah, that is good enough. So I'll go ahead and confirm. So now we have two. Let's add another one. I'll click on text. Uh, I'll call this one slug. And slug will be acting as our unique ID. Let it be short text. It will be generated from the title. I'll click on create and configure. 
I'll go ahead and click on validation, make it a required, unique. Okay, I'll click on slug on the appearance and then we should generate the slug from the title. So there we go. And I'll click on confirm. So now we have the slug. Let's add a summary. So we can click on text. Let it be a longer one. And then we can go ahead and uh, give it a name. This will be summary. And then I'll create and configure. And um, I'll go to validation, make it required. Uh, you can set other stuff, but I won't. Appearance. Uh, I'll click on multiple lines. And then I'll like confirm. And then I'll add last three, our content. So I'll click on rich text. So this will be content. And I'll click uh, create and configure. Actually, uh, for consistency, I can start with a uh, capital there. Create and configure. Now for rich text, you are able to add headings. You are able to uh, link to assets and so on. So I won't like touch on anything here. I'll just go ahead on validation and make it required. You can limit some stuff or uh, do some other settings right here, but I'll only click this one. Appearance will be rich text and I'll confirm. So this is like now the model of our content. We have the title, the thumbnail, the sag, the summary, and the uh, content itself, which is rich text. And as you can see, you can be able to like select uh, multiple options. You can add numbers if you want, dates, location, and uh, so many more. So for now, this will be good enough for our blog. And therefore, I'll come right here and save. So once you save, you can go to content right here. And you'll see that we don't have any content. And we can click on add blog. And create your first piece of content. Uh, we call it an entry. And therefore, create and edit an entry. So right here, we can be able to add a different stuff now. And the ones that are required are marked in red. So let's say we are creating a Next.js uh, blog post. So I'll say next next.js tutorial. Uh, right here we will need uh, to add a media. So I'll click on add media. And I'll add a new media. And then we give that media a title. I'll say uh, next thumb. So that is like the thumbnail. And then I'll come right here and uh, you can either drag and drop or you can open uh, the file selector. I'll click on open file selector. And I'll click on a select file to upload. You can choose from any uh, place that you want, even from the device, Facebook, Instagram, and so on. So right here, I'll click on to choose from the device. And I'll click on this one right here. So I'll like open one. And I'll go ahead and, uh, okay, it's uploading. I cannot publish until processing. So it has processed and I'll publish, okay? Once I publish, uh, first entry published, it can now be fetched via the API. So this is just like the image itself. So I'll like cancel this. Then I'll click back here. And now you can see it's already like added here, okay? So it should be published right there. So, so far we have added the title, the thumbnail, and you can see the slug is auto-generated from the title. Let's have a summary. So I can say this is a next a JS course for beginners. And I can include dot right there. So that is like the summary of the blog post. And then now right here we can add the content that we want. So what I'll do, I'll say this is the content of next.js uh, tutorial. So from here, you can be able to add different stuff. You can add images, you can add uh, uh, some styles like bold, italics, you can add some bullet list and so on and so forth. So you can like uh, play around with it. This is rich text and you can be able to even embed some media, even images and so on. So for now, I want to keep this one simple. So I'll go ahead and uh, publish our post. So we have like filled everything. So I'll publish that. So when you go now to content right here, you should be able to see this post right here as published. 
and now I'll add another post. So now I have added a new entry and I have called it Next.js Tutorial Part 2 and then we have Next.js Tutorial here and uh, yeah so now we have two and uh, i think these are good enough to get started with so in the next episode what we will do we'll try to get this data from contentful and uh, list it right here on our next js app so that is it for this episode uh, you can explore more about uh, our contentful there is media right here and so on and i'll be seeing you on the next episode